Hi, I'm Kerry Hartwig with Sukup Manufacturing Company. Welcome back to our dryer service educational video series. Today we're going to talk about downloading software and installing it on a USB stick for our QuadroTouch Pro control system. Okay, we're here at our computer and we've brought up www.sukup.com. Now we're going to go down here and find products. Go over to grain dryers, click on that. Then we can uh, scroll down. You can see the different uh, highlights and features of our dryers are described here until we find quarter touch downloads. We'll click on that. And got to give it just a minute to load the page. And we're working on downloading software for quarter touch pro. So notice quarter touch pro is the first uh, first item here. And we have two software downloads available, version 1.21 and version 3.0. Now the first thing you might want to do is download the instructions. So if I click on version 3.0 software installation instructions, that's going to open it up in another tab here. And then I'd recommend that you find the, the printer icon on your browser, in this case here. And I'd go ahead and print these instructions so I can follow along with them as we go. So back to the, uh, back to the website. Here's our Quarter Touch Pro version 3.0, full version. I'm going to right click on that and then I'm going to hit save target as. And I would always recommend saving this on your desktop. Now you might want to save this in your downloads or wherever you want. And we've got a good fast connection here so we're downloading very quickly. Okay, so the file is now downloaded, so I can minimize this window, and here it is. So the first thing you need to notice is it has a zipper on it. This is a zipped or a compressed folder. And the very first thing we need to do is uh, extract it. So if I right click on this, then I can hit extract all, and it, it, it'll put this uh, by default on your desktop or the same place your zipped folder is, and we'll go ahead and hit extract very very important to do this step um, you can actually complete complete this by putting the files on a USB stick before you extract it and then spend the time to go out to your your customer site or to the to the dryer itself and try to install software and it won't work so extracting this is an extremely important step of the process Okay, so now we've got the file extracted, and notice it put another folder on my desktop with the exact same name as the zipped folder. I would recommend here now right-clicking on this and immediately deleting the zipped folder. That way there's no way we can make a mistake and, and put the wrong one on there. So I've got, uh, I've got this file open right here, and notice the only file in it is called Project. Just to show you what's in Project, um, there's some usable things. that If you open the video, now all the different troubleshooting videos within QuadroTouch Pro could actually be watched here on the computer. Uh, so that could be really handy. And the same with the PDF. See the PDF uh, icon there? If we want to look at all the different faults, uh, you know, maybe a meter roll prox or whatever it happens to be, all the different PDF uh, files that are within QuadroTouch Pro are accessible here on your computer. So we're going to back up here now to the, to the top level is Project. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is come find our USB drive, and I'm going to right-click on that and open a new window. I personally like to see two windows doing this. Um, so here's our project file. Uh, we can right-click on that, hit copy, come over to our USB stick, right-click, and hit paste. You can drag and drop it however you want to do it, but you have to make sure, again, you're using the extracted folder and that we're copying the project folder from the software we downloaded and putting that onto the USB stick. This may take a few minutes, so just be patient. All right, this has taken a few minutes, but uh, we've gotten the project folder copied uh, onto the USB stick, and we've just wrapped that up. Um, now we're, we can go ahead and eject that stick. Uh, one thing that I would recommend is uh, you know, taking a Sharpie or somehow labeling that stick that we've got version 3.0 software on there. It's always a good idea too to use a USB stick that doesn't have a whole lot of other things on there, but the main thing is uh, you've got to have the folder called Project on the top level of the USB stick. Remember, this video and more can be found on our website, www.sukup.com, or on our YouTube channel, Sukup MFG.